What's up guys, so in this video I'm going to be showing you how to downgrade your iPhone 5s from iOS 12.5.5 to iOS 10.3.3. So keep in mind this process works on all A6 and A7 devices. So it only works on the iPhone 5s, iPad mini 2 and the iPad Air first generation. So if you don't have any of these devices then this video is not for you. So the first thing we're going to do is that we're going to download the firmware file. So we're going to head over to Safari. And you're going to type in ipsw.me. Click on enter. Right, so after this site loads, you're going to click on identify my device. So the iPhone 5S has two models, the GSM model and the global model. So to find out which model your iPhone is, you're going to scroll down here. And then you're going to open your iPhone. Head over to settings scroll down click on general then you're going to click on about and then you're going to click on model number once so you see the weird combination of text and numbers that start with a that's the model number that we will type in here so my model number is a1457 so i'm going to type here a1457 i'm going to click on enter all right so here's the page that contains my model for the iPhone 5s so I'm going to scroll down until I reach iOS 10.3.3 so after you reach iOS 10.3.3 you're going to click on it and then you're going to scroll down and download the firmware and then we're going to wait later Alright, so after the download is complete, now we're going to download an app called Lead Down, which will allow us to downgrade from iOS 12.5 to iOS 10.3. So you're going to type here Lead Down. Click on Enter. And then you're going to click on here, the second link. So after that page loads, you're going to scroll down. And then you're going to choose the latest version, which is version 2.2. So you're going to click on that. And then you're going to scroll down. And then you're going to click on the lead down 2.2 underscore REV, the DMG file. So you're going to click on that. And so after that downloads, you're going to open the DMG file. Alright, so now we're going to copy the lead down app into our applications folder. I'm going to replace that. Okay, so now we're going to head over to Finder. And head over to Applications. Then we're going to open lead down. Alright, so after we've opened lead down, now we need to enter DFU mode. So we're going to click on Need Help entering DFU mode. And then we're going to click on stuff. So basically, we're just going to be following the steps shown on the screen. So now we're going to press and hold the home and power button for 10 seconds. And now we're going to let go of the power button but keep holding on the home button for another 10 seconds. Alright, so as you can see, lead down can read my device. So now we're going to select the IPSW file. Click on browse for an IPSW. Then we're going to choose the firmware file. So then we're going to click on open. And now we're going to wait.
Right, so now we're gonna click on downgrade. And click on OK. And we click on skip. Right, so now you're gonna get an image on your iPhone that says that has the lead down logo and it says starting restore. And now we're gonna wait. And now the Apple logo appeared on my screen. And then you're going to see a progress bar appearing under the logo. Now you can see that the process has already started. And now I'm going to wait. Eventually. Alright, so as you can see, we've successfully restored our iPhone 5S from iOS 12 to iOS 10. So thanks so much guys for watching and have a nice day.